Unlocking Finance, Understanding the Price to Book Ratio. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English and diving into complex topics like finance both fun and easy. Today, we're going to unravel a very interesting term you might come across in the world of investing, the price to book ratio. Whether you're a finance student, a budding investor, or just curious about financial terms, this video is crafted just for you. Let's break down what the price to book ratio means and why it's important in making informed investment decisions. Stay with us as we simplify this concept, ensuring you can understand and use it confidently. The price to book ratio, PB ratio, is a financial metric used to compare a company's current market price to its book value. But let's break that down further. Market price. This is the current price at which a share of the company is trading on the stock market. Think of it as how much you'd have to pay to buy a single share of the company right now. Book value. This represents the net value of a company's assets minus its liabilities, as reported in its financial statements. Essentially, it's what remains if the company were to liquidate all its assets and pay off all its debts today. You can think of it as the company's net worth, so, the formula to calculate the price-to-book ratio is quite straightforward. Price-to-book ratio equals market price per share, book value per share. Understanding the price-to-book ratio is crucial for several reasons. 1. Valuation tool. It helps investors evaluate whether a stock is undervalued or overvalued. A lower P-B ratio might indicate that the stock is undervalued, potentially a good buy, while a higher P-B ratio could suggest it's overvalued. 2. Risk Assessment It provides insights into the financial health and risk level of a company. Companies with a P-B ratio lower than 1 are often looked at more closely, as this could indicate that the company is facing difficulties or it could also mean that it's an overlooked opportunity by the market. 3. Comparative Analysis Investors use the P-B ratio to compare companies within the same industry, offering a way to find the most financially stable and potentially profitable investment opportunities. Let's put this into practice with a simple example. Imagine company A has a current market price of $100 per share and a book value of $80 per share. Using our formula, price to book ratio equals $100 divided by $80 equals 1.25. This means that investors are currently willing to pay $1.25 for every $1 of book value in company A depending on the average P-B ratio for the industry. This could indicate whether company A is valued fairly, undervalued, or overvalued by the market. We hope this video has shed some light on the price to book ratio and its importance in the world of finance. Understanding such financial metrics can significantly enhance your ability to make informed investment decisions and evaluate companies more effectively. Remember, the world of finance is vast and there's always more to learn. So, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep learning. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next video.